If you're building anything online, content, products, a startup, you're probably wearing way too many hats. Some days you're creating, other days you're managing, responding, planning, or just trying to keep things moving. And while ideas aren't usually the problem, execution definitely is, especially when all the small repetitive tasks start stacking up. So this week, I decided to change how I work. I brought in an AI team and used it inside of my real workflow, not to replace thinking, but to help me with the parts that slow me down. In this video, I wanna show you what that actually looked like day to day, where it helped, where it didn't, and whether this kind of setup is worth using if you're building solo or running lean. Sintra isn't just one AI chat. It's a set of 12 role-based AI helpers. Think social media manager, email marketer, support rep, strategist, all living in one place. And they're all trained on your business so you don't have to spend all your time reminding your AI on what your goals are, who you are, and what audience you're speaking to before every chat. You're not replacing the judgment, you're cutting context switching. Before I show you how I actually use Sintra, I wanna show you this quickly. If you click the link in the description, it'll take you straight to this Maker Thrive exclusive Sintra landing page. This is where the big deal is. Right now, Sintra is offering 72% off their yearly plan, which is the Sintra X plan. That's the one that includes the full team. All 12 Sintra helpers each trained for a specific role. Social media, email, sales, copywriting, data, SEO, basically the stuff that you normally context switch between all day. I went with the Centra X plan because I don't need just one assistant. I need help in different areas depending on the week. With the discount, the yearly plan honestly makes the most sense financially. That said, if you only need help in one specific area, Sintra does let you use individual helpers, but I'll show you in this video why the full team setup is the most beneficial. Okay, so let's jump into my first weekly use case, content repurposing. I already write newsletters, record YouTube videos, post on X, and I hate rewriting the same idea five different ways. I dropped one piece of content into Sochi and asked it to repurpose it for different platforms. I use this prompt. Take the context below and repurpose it into a short X thread, a LinkedIn post with professional but conversational tone, and a YouTube description under 120 words. Keep it concise, human, and non-salesy. So she began analyzing the newsletter content and created a five tweet X thread for me, a LinkedIn post, and a YouTube description within seconds. So she then asked me if I'd like these posts to be created in my social calendar. It started with LinkedIn, and I was able to schedule this post for later, choosing the date and the time of posting and added it to my schedule. Another cool thing that Sochi did was generate a unique image to go alongside my posts that is fully branded with my logos and brand colors. If you're not happy with this image, you can also regenerate it as well. Sochi finished up my three posts and spaced them naturally so my feed isn't overwhelmed. This is a kind of task I could do by myself, but it's not the best use of my time. I could still tweak the output, but this gets me 80% there in one shot. Moving on, email is still one of my highest leveraging channels that I have, especially for nurturing my audience and content campaigns. I used Emmy to help clean up the drafts and test variations, not to write blindly, but to tighten things up. I'm pasting an existing nurture email where I share a free marketing plan bundle with my list. My prompt is rewrite this email to be clearer and more engaging while keeping my original tone. Avoid hype or buzzwords. Emmy gave me a really nice revised email. She didn't change it completely, but instead made it better and more optimized for my readers. I then gave Emmy a follow-up prompt that reads, now give me three alternative subject lines that are curiosity driven, but not clickbait. Emmy then gave me some awesome subject lines that I can go in and use and test. Again, this is not replacing thinking. It's giving me a faster first draft so I can focus on strategy, not phrasing. The last place I tested Sintra was support and inbound messages. Things like brand inquiries, community questions, or can you clarify this emails? What I did first to set this up was give Cassie access to my work email which is a super easy process. I connected my Gmail and Cassie began setting up my inbox by adding smart labels, scanning important emails, and she already began preparing first draft replies to existing emails. 
I received a confirmation email from Cassie, letting me know that she was able to connect my inbox and gave me some context of how she'll help. I replied to let her know I was happy to have her on the team. Now, she pulled a cold email from my inbox that I can reply to. I can either skip this or view Cassie's reply. It looks great, but I also have the option to prompt with natural language on how I want my reply to look. So I said, draft a polite, professional response to the message below. Tone, friendly, confident, and clear. Do not overpromise or sound automated. And then I got a thoughtful response for the sender. I also noted that this sounds like my normal response to a cold email, so I can tell that Cassie took note of this from my inbox and was able to craft a natural reply. This is where I think Centra shines. You can still review everything, but you're not starting from a blank page. And this is what I actually like the most about Sintra. It's not one tool, it is a full team. I don't use all of these every day, but depending on the week, I might pull in a data analyst, a copywriter, SEO helper, or a strategist. The yearly plan makes sense only if you treat this like a team, not just a chat window. So. If you're running solo or running lean or just tired of juggling multiple tools, this is the kind of setup that actually makes sense. You can still make decisions, but you just move so much quicker. Centra's running 72% off their yearly plan right now. If you wanna try the same setup I showed here, use the link in the description. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Maker Thrive channel so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.